Okay, so we come on into Illustrator and we can see that we have our workspace. We have our artboard. Now I have a lot of different windows open up on my board. Um, if you are looking for any of these windows that I speak about, you can just go to Window and open them this way in here. We could also come in and reset our workspace. So I could say Reset Essentials. And these will be the way that it looks with just Essentials. Okay, so we begin. We have a shape. We have a simple shape and we're going to begin to rotate it. So I'm going to, you can see the examples of what I've done in here. Uh, this is taking this shape and creating this. Let's do a little bit of a different variation. Let's work in this area right here. So I'm going to grab onto this shape and I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to grab my zoom tool and I'm going to zoom in so I'm in nice and close. I'm going to grab my hand. My sh keyboard shortcut is H and come on in. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, so I'm going to click Get My Bounding Box. I'm going to hold down Shift and pull from a corner. Now, when I hold down Shift, the relationship between the uh, width and the height is kept, and that's what I want to happen here. So I'm going to come on in here, and now I have this shape that I want to rotate around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my toolbar, and I'm going to grab my Rotate tool. Now, if you don't see your root Rotate tool, you might see the Reflect tool. So you want to come on in and make sure that you have the Rotate. And what I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let Illustrator know where I want to rotate from. So I'm going to come on down and I'm going to make this the center point right there. Excellent. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to tell Illustrator how many times do I want to rotate around. If we look at, we're rotating around a circle and that's what creates a mandala design. A circle is 360 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click off here. And I am going to now hold down Option and click one more time. And I get this window right here. And it's going to give me some really specific directions. So what I'm going to let Illustrator know is I'm going to say I want to 360. And I'm going to divide this. I'm going to do eight of these. And I want them distributed evenly. I'm going to hit Copy. And I have my first one. Now to do this again, I come to Object, Transform, Transform again. And I can see that when I do that, Transform, Transform again, that my keyboard shortcut on the Mac is Command-D. So I come on in, Command-D, 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 Command-D. I've just created a mandala of sorts. Now, I can also come in and add other elements to this. So I could take this image right in here, and I could get it how I would like for it to be. Maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. Again, I'm going to pull in from the corner, hold down Shift. Again, place this where I'd like for it to be. Going to go even smaller. I'm going to move it behind everything. So in order to do that, I'd come on in, I'd say Object, Arrange, Send to Back. And now I want to rotate this around as well. So I'm going to click on to this guy. I am going to grab onto my rotate tool again. I'm going to set the center point. I'm going to click right onto here. Again, I'm going to click off. I'm going to hold down Option or Alt one more time. I'm going to click this. I will open up and get this window. Now I'm going to set it at 360 degrees. I'm going to divide it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. I'm going to do eight one more time. I'm going to hit copy and again command D will get me all the way around this image here. So there we have it. Um, I could come in and I could have done this earlier. I could select, actually I could select all of them and change the color of all of them at one time. Let's see here. I think we are going to be able to do that. Okay, so there we have it. We've just created a mandala type of design working with these images in here. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Now again, to move this around, I'm going to come to Object Group, and I can move this over to the side. The possibilities are endless of what we can do with these different pieces that we're working with. Now I moved this one off over to the side. I'm actually going to do a little something else with it. I'm going to actually duplicate it. So I'm going to come on in to edit, copy, edit, paste in front. Now, just real quickly, 
I'm going to grab another shape and I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to draw a circular shape, make it bigger if I need to. I'm going to change the color of it. I'm going to grab this shape right in here. I'm going to pull it on down. Object arrange. I'm going to bring it to the front. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come on in and make this circle more the shape of this object that I'm working with right here. Okay, great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on in here and I'm going to open up my Pathfinder. So I'm going to come to Window, I'm going to hit Pathfinder, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on in and I'm going to say to trim. All right, so this, what this does is it ends up trimming out all of the colors. So I can even come on in here and get some other variations of what's going on. So I can come in, I can click, I can delete, and just leave color on the inside. So again, lots of fun, lots of hours, and um, different ways to create variations of designs when we are working with the Rotate tool uh, inside of Illustrator. Okay, there we have it. Thanks for listening.